Hey guys, how's it going? So, you may have seen some of my minigame stuff, uh, like the, um, uh, UHC based challenge kind of game. Um, I, I wanted to show you how to use teams and make scores and how to make the colors display out in the chat. I know there's some videos out there on how to do this, but when I was trying to figure out how, it was very difficult to find, you know, what I was actually looking for. Um, but Seth Bling helped me do it. Uh, Exuma sent me, or what's his name? I'm sorry. Azuma, Sishawami, anything. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I feel bad. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, thanks to them because they helped me. I, I'll try and find the videos for them down in the description. Uh, but this is my version of it, and I have it all laid out for us, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, actually, wait, no, Seth Bling didn't help me do that, he helped me do something else, so, with this video, so, all credit for this, for me learning, goes to Exuma Boy, so, let's get into it. Basically, all the teams and scores are, of course, implemented through the scoreboard system. You have, over here, scoreboard teams add team blue, blue, alright, this basically is calling the scoreboard command calling the program teams, if you will, program, it's not really a program, it's just, you know, a function. Uh, add, of course, it's sensible. The name of the team, preferably. I uh, just set mine to team underscore blue. It can be whatever you want there. Uh, like, this is the calling name, I believe. Uh, and then blue. And you can also do this, of course, you don't have to use command blocks. Uh, teams add so there you see actually it has the name and the display name. So the second one is the display name. This one is the name. Alright, so let's turn that on. So now we have a new team called Team Blue. Next we have, oh, actually that's the last step, sorry. Uh, scoreboard Teams Option. This is a new function within the Teams function. Team Blue, it's calling the name of that team, which I named Team Blue and it's setting the color to aqua. There is blue, but aqua just looks better in my opinion, so let's go ahead and run that. And now I'm gonna join it. So scoreboard teams join team blue. This is the name and at player. You could do at all, at r, any of these, and it would work. Um, now, join can also be leave, and you can get yourself away from it. But let's go ahead and do that. And now you'll see it works. I have blue. Alright, so now I'm going to add myself to the red team. It has the same system, except I've named them red and blue. Uh, let me check something. Okay, so I have the team red. You know, all the colors, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay. This one, of course, is strong, because I'm a failure. Okay, and joint... And there you go, I am in the red team. So that's how that works. I'm gonna join the blue team again because I prefer it. Uh, <laughs> so over here we have the scores and how it works. So scoreboard objectives. This is a, a new kind of system function thing called objectives. Add, I named mine kill. This is the thing it calls. This is an already made function or method. Total kill count. It takes any kill you get off of a mob or a player. Now if you want just player kills, it's player kill count. And then I have the display name right here. And from here I have scoreboard objectives set display sidebar kill. This means it's calling the objectives function. It is setting the display to the sidebar, which is over here, to and it calls the one I want to use. This is the objective kill and it's set to do sidebar. So I'll explain the different ones here in a minute. Alright, so now we have that. If I go ahead and type scoreboard um, players set system Z to score or kill, since that's the thing, score one, you'll see it there. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and show you me joining this team. It goes ahead and uh, sets me to that. So that's how you do that. Now, if you want to do something like a health meter up at the top, which you would do tab for, which I really can't do right now, so it's kind of pointless. I think I'll be able to do that here in a minute. Scoreboard objective set this way list health. And I made the health thing here. This is calling the health protocol health. And I named it just health. So let's go ahead and add that. 
Now, if I do scoreboard objective set display list health, I should be able to get a list, and there will be my health. So if I go ahead and do like uh, kill all, kill myself. Hopefully, I spawn near. Okay, cool. Uh, my XP now. You'll see my health is at 20. It does take a minute to actually set to 20. It's like once once it updates, once you get hit or like something, it will change back to that number. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And <laughs> so there's um, not only that. There's also a player like above name list area that you can do, and that that's basically how you do it. Um, sorry for the rough explanation. Uh, I'm gonna name this video something to where the people who are looking for colored names, which is what I was looking for, are going to be able to do that. So thanks to Exuma Void for helping me. Thanks to Seth Ling, even though I didn't learn this exact thing from him, just for being awesome at command blocks because he's helped me get anywhere so far. So this is very useful in games, really. I mean, paintball, I believe it's in, uh, or quite craft paintball on the Hypixel server. I saw it on there. Um, tons of cool things. So Minecraft is definitely getting better, and I don't think some people notice how awesome the scoreboard system is. So, yep, I will see you guys in the next Minecraft the tutorials. I don't know when it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. It'll probably be some, like, command block thing because I'm having way too much fun with it. So yeah, that's how we uh, do that. I hope you enjoyed. My name is System Z. Thanks for watching.